this stuff here is sketchy. Oh, we are, of course, <laughs> in the new Jeep Cherokee. It has an all new design, but is it better for it? Well, I reckon it definitely is, and that's partly thanks to this new headlight setup. Instead of the ogly double headlight cluster that was pretty confusing at the front, it's now a single headlight, and this one here has a full LED lighting system, which means at night time it lights up the world and looks really cool. You get your signature Jeep 7 pillar grille at the front there, which looks nice and meaty. Then the Trailhawk model gets these exposed tow hooks too. So in traffic, they know you're nice and serious about your weekends. The whole range kicks off from just under $36,000 plus on-road costs. And Jeep has gone to a lot of effort to add extra value. We're talking about 4,000 bucks of extra value just in the base model. And then throughout the range that moves up and down with either modest price increase or decrease as well, which is pretty good. Lots of new active safety tech and Trailhawk of course has a trail rated badge, which is important because not many SUVs in this segment are rated for off-road driving. Let's have a look at the rear where there's some minor changes as well. So they've tidied this section up a little bit with LED lights and just overall made it a little tidier. Boot capacity is increased by 84 litres to 781 litres. That means it can now easily fit a full-size golf bag. If you're going to be exploring Australia, this is the seat you want to be in because you can option this panoramic glass roof and it looks awesome. Doubles as a sunroof too and has a retractable blind. It's a center armrest here with a couple of cup holders, which is pretty good. And then the seats move backwards and forwards, so that affords you a bit of extra boot room there as well. But there are a few downsides. I have barely any leg room here at all. I'm about 185 centimeters tall, and this is my standard driving position, so it is a bit cramped. And check out that headroom. There's barely anything there. Door pockets aren't that great either. But on the upshot, you do get USB charging here. So two standard USB ports plus USB-C. So it is future-proofing this car, along with rear air vents. While the range kicks off at just under $36,000, goes all the way through to a little under 50 grand. And that lands you in this car here, the top spec Trailhawk. It is a fantastic interior. I'm gonna start up here. Eight inch Uconnect infotainment system. And this is a new system to Jeep as well. They've updated it. It is so quick now. You can go through all these menus and it responds so fast, even to the point where on the maps you can zoom in and zoom out. It's impossible to catch it out. It has some serious grunt. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard across the range. The lower models will get a seven inch screen instead of this eight, but still very good system nonetheless. In terms of the rest of your controls, auto parking and auto unparking. So if you do manage to get yourself into a parallel park using the feature, it will get you out as well. So you don't need to stress about that too much. Lots of storage around the cabin, in the doors, the center console here in the glove box, plenty of places to store things and USB everywhere. We've got six all together in the car, two up the front here and four at the back. So it is a really good setup. Creature comforts, heated seats, ventilated seats, and then in front of the driver, you have an LCD cluster for critical controls. Plenty of safety gear as well now with AUB across the range. This car also picks up things like adaptive cruise control. So it is fully catered for in terms of features. The last point is this control here. So on the Trailhawk model, this is fully featured and gives you a whole stack of off-road four-wheel drive modes, including your low range and rear diff lock. But does it work? Let's find out. The Cherokee really is an SUV designed to go anywhere and Jeep has done exactly that here with the Trailhawk. It comes with a full suite of off-road gear, including a low range driving mode, a rear differential lock, and then a electronic differential lock for the front that sort of mimics that system. And literally all you do here in low range is just keep the foot in. We are on some scrabbly, muddy clay surface here and it has no dramas at all getting around. It is squirming around a little bit, but you just keep the foot in and it literally goes anywhere. On top of that, you have a hill ascent, a hill descent control, and then a stack of four wheel drive modes that tailor the drive experience and then give you enough control behind the wheel to just make anything happen. Normally off-roading is best kept for a diesel, but here this 3.2 litre V6 petrol engine is doing a pretty decent job it can flare a little bit if you don't have the rear differential locked and you get a wheel spinning, but with the rear diff locked in low range, it literally just keeps climbing. Just keep burying that foot in and it gets along nicely. This is some seriously meaty terrain here. <laughs> it's got no dramas in the world. What I'm really liking here is how much control I have over the car. Just a little breath of throttle and it just gets out of any scenario. Ground clearance for Trailhawk comes in at 221 millimeters. 
there are a stack of accessories you can get for these things and that's part of the Jeep experience. They want to make it a lifestyle choice and that means giving the customer everything they want in terms of kitting out their car. It's also got some all-terrain tyres which give it a bit more of an edge off-road and you can get Mopar accessories such as a proper mud tyre with white wall uh, riding on the side so it actually looks really cool. If you are spending a fair bit of time off-road you'll appreciate the paddle shifters one flick of those and it'll start moving through the gears on this nine speed automatic. And that gives you ultimate control when you're off road because even in high range, if you dial back to first, the ratios are short enough to, to give the car you know, a bit of a braking effect from the engine. And then you can take it that one step further by using hill descent control. And then you can vary the speed there as well as the car descends. So it is a pretty handy feature to have. Unlike most other SUVs that you're going to need to modify if you want to do some serious off-roading, the Trailhawk is already set up with everything that you need. And then Jeep tops it off as well with the there and back guarantee. So it's a new thing they've set up in Australia that gives you a five-year warranty and lifetime roadside assistance when you have the car serviced with Jeep. I guess given Jeep's previous uh, dramas, this is a good sign that they're here to stay and they're here to support customers as well. And you can rest assured that the car is really built for off-road driving out of the box. So you don't need to go void your warranty putting extra stuff on it when you know, it's ready to go as it is and covered by a warranty. Cherokee is really good off-road, but what's it like on-road, which is where it's going to be spending most of its time? Well, it's actually pretty good. There's two engines in the range, a 2.4 litre in the entry level, and then a 3.2 litre V6. And this is my favourite because it pumps out 200 kilowatts of power and 315 newton metres of torque. Jeep made some changes to the engine and gearbox calibration, which means it's a little sharper and more responsive now. So you can give it a kick in the guts and it gets up nicely and moves along. The only downside is that it makes peak torque at above 4,000 RPM, which means you really have to get up it to make it feel like it's doing anything productive. Let's talk overtaking. We're gonna go here from 60 to 80, bury the throttle, kicks down, and then away we go. Actually sounds pretty good as well. So you've got plenty of torque there to keep it moving. It feels, even with a full load, which, you know, we've got a whole stack of camera gear on board, it feels like it is good enough to be overtaking and, and getting along nicely with traffic. So you'll never be longing for that throttle response, which is sometimes what you can get in that four cylinder entry level. If you do find yourself a set of corners, you're going to be pretty impressed here with the Cherokee. The gearbox does a good job of hunting back through the gears to give you that torque band. And it never really feels like it's doing too much work. You can always lean on that throttle. But the steering is fantastic. It's nice and communicative. There's plenty of feel through the chassis as well. Sure, it's no sports car, but you know, if you are driving to the snow or doing something fun on the weekend, you feel like you can sort of throw it around a bit and have some fun with it. We spoke earlier about the drive modes for off-road, but you can use the knob here to change it through to sport. And what that does is makes the gearbox a little sharper. Instead of going up through the gears when you're at speed, holds gears a little bit longer and it just gives it a bit more of an engaging feel behind the wheel. The ride has me really impressed, especially here in the Trailhawk model. We're talking about a car that's built primarily you know, for off-road adventurers. It's not exactly a car that you know, is configured for driving around the city. And that's what makes the ride so impressive. Even on some of these dodgy Australian roads, it hunkers down nicely, it soaks up bumps beautifully. And then when you attack it with speed humps, it just gets on with it. There's really no fuss at all, which you can find sometimes in these off-road oriented four wheel drives. Visibility out of this cabin is fantastic. I can see perfectly out the front, the rear and the sides. I also now have blind spot monitoring and stack of active safety gear. So the whole range comes with autonomous emergency braking and the type of tech you would expect to find on an SUV. We always harp on about this, but of all the cars in all the segments on the road, SUVs really need to be standard fit with all the safety tech. This has been your first look at the Jeep Cherokee. They have really nailed the design this time around. Pricing is really competitive, and if you do love going off-road or getting away on the weekends, this Trailhawk model ticks all of the boxes. It is a seriously cool machine. Uh, you can read the full review at caradvice.com. In the interim, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of our other videos.